At independence, our founding fathers embarked on a course, on a mission of course correction to transition from a colonial education system that prepared learners for servitude to one that gave them the tools to lead a newly independent nation. In 1985, we made yet another momental, monumental shift by transitioning from the 7423 system into the 844 system. But with time, fellow Kenyans, the 844 curriculum became inconsistent with the aspirations of our growing nation, particularly because of its overloaded curriculum and its focus on route learning and the passing of exams as the ultimate goal of the system. As we began re-engineering it, we had to return to the foundational philosophy of education, and that is, citizens never fail. It is systems that fail them. And if the systems are inconsistent with the aspirations of the people, then the systems must be changed. The challenge of the day calls us to imagine a system that responsible citizens as opposed to subjects, a system that celebrates creative potential of all our children as opposed to one that leaves them with labels of failure if they do not pass exams. A system that brings about freedom to be creative and innovative as individuals. This is the promise of the competency-based curriculum and that is why in December of 2022, the pioneer CBC class now in sixth grade will transition to junior secondary and we believe and given the manifest success achieved in such a short period of time, there is no turning back with respect to competency-based curriculum.